Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is AK and this is my YouTube channel. So today's look is inspired by the game that is going on tonight in like an hour. Warriors vs. the Cavs. Now, I'm rooting for the Warriors, but I'm trying to do a look for both teams and today it was the Cavs just because I like the colors more. But, um, yes, this is the look. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you haven't already, go make sure you check out my other videos. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. But, yeah, it's just, we got some, mm, this eye look. And, anyway, <laughs> make sure you guys stay tuned because I'm going to start vlogging. And I'm going to do my vlogs week by week because my life ain't that exciting. Yeah, but I hope you guys enjoy this Cavalier Smoky Eye. And I also hope that the Warriors come up on top so we can win the chip, baby. But yeah, anyway, let's get right into the video. Please ignore that night you sign your girl hat for her AC. <laughs> so I'm just going to start off by adding a few finishing touches to my eyebrows. And I'm going to take this shade from my Morphe 350 palette and use that as my first transition shade. I'm just applying this with like a fluffy, fluffy, fluffy blending brush and I'm also going to kind of bring it out um, to the edge of my eye to kind of make it look, look cut. Well, not really cut because it's maybe like a cat eye, I guess that's what they call it. But yeah, just going to blend that out real good. And then I'm just taking a clean blending brush and blending out the edges. Now I'm gonna take, I, oh, the shade Cherry Cola, and I'm gonna work that into my crease. I'm gonna pack it on to the outside of my eyelid and then bring it into my crease because this color is a bit darker and it's just gonna help me deepen my crease gradually. Now I'm just going to blend out the edges of that and then I'm going to take this dark brown shade from my Morphe 350 palette and I'm going to use that to make the corner of my eye even darker so we can start working on our smoky look that we're trying to achieve. But yep, I'm just going to keep this away from my lid even though I'm going to go clean up my lid later. But I'm just going to focus on the corner and bring it into the crease just a little bit. Now taking this brown brown shade from MAC, um, it looks brown in the little tint, but it comes off so black, like it's ridiculous. But I use this to make my crease darker because that shade from the Morphe 350 palette just been cut it. And then I'm just gonna blend that all out so there's no harsh dark spots. Now just taking some concealer, I'm going to make a half cut crease. I just use my LA Girl Pro Concealer. I normally use whatever concealer I like the least and I hate LA Girl Pro Concealer. I don't hate them, but they just don't work on my face. But yep, I'm just going to do a half cut crease and I have hooded eyes, but I still put my cut in my crease because I like the way it looks. Then I'm just going to set that concealer with this eyeshadow from my Morphe 350 palette. You saw a glimpse of it earlier. And then I'm going to take that gold shade right, here, right there and pack that bad boy on like my life depends on it. Because I'm trying to make this look, look like 14 karat gold because your girl can't afford that yet. So you got to look like you got it. <laughs> And then I'm going to take that brown shade from my Morphe palette and just make a nice gradient between the gold shimmer and the smoky cone of my eye. So yep, I'm just going to blend out that harsh line. Then taking Zuri from my Juvia's Place palette, I'm going to use that in my tear duct. And then I already did my foundation all that and we're going to move on to lips. I'm taking this lip liner from Sephora. I think the shade is like molasses or something, I forget. But I'm going to line my lips with that. Oh, and I also already did my eyeliner and my lashes off camera. I just use a gel eyeliner, but you can use anything liquid gel. It doesn't matter. 
But yes, I'm just sliding my lips. I'm gonna try and do an ombre lip because I'm not gonna be good at it and you're not gonna practice. But now I'm taking, I think it's Chi from Colourpop. I haven't used this in a while. Putting that in the center of my lip. And this is gonna help me do like a cool tone nude lip, which is what I was trying to go for. I'm just gonna blend it out with my finger. Add a little bit more, because it's a matte lipstick and it dries quick. Add more blend. And yes, this is the finished look. I really feel in myself, as usual. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, watch my other videos in the meantime. And stay tuned for my vlog and my other videos.